And welcome to Nerd Talk. We're nerd talking. Tonight we are live from the red carpet. Makeshift red carpet. <laughs> so welcome to the Academy Awards. Yes. Um, we, our, we, we're dressed up looking snazzy. Our first topic on the agenda today is... Uh, sad news. Again, sad news. I feel like we had sad news on the last Nerd we Talk. Did. Last time we talked about Philip Seymour Hoffman yeah, departing from this world. Now it's worse. Worst. No offense to Philip Seymour Hoffman. It's Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis is. We have lost a Ghostbuster. Yes. Um, so it's kind of hard. It is. I took it really hard. I took it really hard. It was a very emotional day. It was like losing a brother. Yeah, it was like losing a father. Or a pet. Or a, yeah. Well, <laughs> it was worse than that. it's worse than losing a pet. It's you're losing a Ghostbuster. Yeah, and it makes me wonder what's going to happen with Ghostbusters three. Uh they are reworking the script, basically, I'm assuming, just cutting his cameo out. But I don't think that they should do it. I, I think they should just not do Ghostbusters at all. Just leave it at one and two. Never even remake it. Yeah, just leave it. Just, because, just leave it as is, in memory of Harold Ramis. Yeah, because, I mean, Bill Murray wasn't going to do it. And it was going to... I mean, it's bad enough having not having Vangman, But now you're not going to have Egon. And it's different if Harold Ramis just didn't want to do it. But now he's dead. And, and he wanted to do it. And it's just, yeah. And he, he, had was, so, he had so much involvement in the first one, you know, yeah, writing it. Yeah. And. Anyways, they should just shouldn't do it. Ernie Hudson came out, he played Winston. He came out and said that they shouldn't do it without without him. Because you can't have, you can't not have Egon. You can't have Ghostbusters without Egon. You can't have the Ghostbusters without a Harold Ramis. And you can't have them without Vinkman either. Yeah. But. But. For some reason, I feel like Egon, not having Egon's worse. Yeah, well, the circumstances are different. Yeah, because Bill Murray's still alive. You know what, Hal Ramis, you in, you inspire us. And I think I'm shedding a tear. Yeah, very sad. We love you. And <laughs> 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 um, but thank you for Ghostbusters and and Caddyshack and everything, everything else. else that you did. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> so now to bring up better news, we'll just get the sad stuff out of the way at the beginning. Cyborg is now rumored to be in Batman vs Superman. They're getting it's getting too many. It's getting convoluted, yeah. and of all people to like put in there, I am Cyborg's a bigger deal now. They've made him more important in current incarnations of the Justice League. Yeah, but but still, but I don't think people are aching to see Cyborg. And no, I mean we already have, of course, Superman and Batman. Yeah. Like Wonder Woman, The Flash. Like we don't really, we don't need Green it anymore. Lantern. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, it's. They need to t take a step so, back. Tone it down. Tone it down. I mean, unless maybe. Otherwise, if they keep doing this, then Guardians of the Galaxy is definitely going to beat it. Yeah, fair enough. But I think that the only thing that might be okay is if maybe it's just the character, like, oh, this is him pre-Cyborg, he's just around, we're gonna make mention of him. Just, like, use his name. Yeah, like, they're watching a football game and he's on the football team. Uh, yeah, that's that's different. But at the same time, the rumor started because they had on, like, we're looking for this because we want an African-American male in his mid-twenties, and I'm like, so now it's awfully racist that they've decided, <laughs> oh, that must be Cyborg. Because what, kind of what other, you know, black guy in his mid-twenties would it be? It can't just be a normal guy. It's, it must be Cyborg. Can't be some guy named Ted. Yeah, it can't just be like a cop or, you know, <laughs> something. It has to be Cyborg. I don't know. But, uh... uh speaking of Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy... Yeah, you mentioned Guardians of the Galaxy. The trailer is out. The, and, oh, man. And if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Pants. Because it is, looks fucking good. It looks amazing. It looks, it looks it's definitely It's definitely going to be funny. I've watched like, it several times, the trailer. I have, too. Like, it's it's going to be hilarious. They're saying that Rocket Raccoon and Groot are going to be like the new Han Solo and, and Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Yeah, which is, which is, like, which is first it's of all, it's bold. It's, it's very bold, bold claim. But, it's, but it's awesome. And I'm, I'm up for the... I'm, I'm excited for it. And Chris Pratt just looks awesome. Just looks hilarious. And John C. Riley and that whole bit with him and the guy from Shaun of the Dead. You know, yeah. They're just, man, go it's watch the trailer. Good. Go watch the trailer. I'm, I'm super excited for it. It looks really good. Um, also, Spider-Man 3... There, uh, there was so Spider-Man Two is happening, which we obviously knew. this year, this summer. But they've confirmed that Mark Webb, who directed Spider -Man, Amazing Spider-Man One, is going to come back for a third one. He's going to come back for the third one, which is good. I mean, he needs to do like his trilogy. He, yeah, he needs to have his trilogy. And but whatever. they're going to make a new Spider-Man movie every yeah, year. Yeah, that's the goal that some producer said. That's like, that's just ridiculous. Because I don't think that it meant 
a spy like Spider Man like Spider Man's gonna but be somewhere involved. in the Spider Man universe. Yeah, but I think it's silly because we've we've covered this before. We have. It's a Sinister Six movie is silly. A Venom movie could be cool, but he needs to be introduced in Spider Man. Besides so. that, there's not really much that. Yeah, can do. just like why? I mean, and I don't know. Mark Webb apparently never wanted Spider Man Four. I remember him saying that, yeah. that there was never a plan for Four. He had plans for a trilogy. So we'll even we'll see what even happens with Spider Man Four, but like even, maybe they might even go like the Ultimate Spider Man route and like kill off Peter Parker and bring in some you yeah. know, black kid. Yeah. <laughs> maybe him and Doc Ock will switch brains like in the comics. Yeah, like in the comics, that'd be cool. Yeah, maybe an interesting but, way to go, but I don't think they'll do that. Um, yeah, it's just it's ridiculous and doesn't need to it's, happen. It's unnecessary. I yeah. mean, I understand Avengers was huge and Marvel's building their universe, but and, and everybody wants to emulate that. But now, Sony has but, the Spider Man universe. But all Sony is, has is Spider Man. Just give Spider Man to Marvel. Yeah, like can't they work out something with Marvel? Like, hey, how about us and you work together in this, and then we'll both receive money somehow. Yeah. I mean, put them in the. Figure I mean, just like they could figure something out, cause like can't be that difficult. You could put Daredevil or the Punisher in a Spider-Man movie. It could be cool. Easily, like that'd be really cool. Yeah. I love this, like the Punisher Spider-Man team up. Yeah, put Spider-Man in the Avengers like he needs to be. Exactly. But I want. I just want to mention it. Uh, the Godzilla trailer came out. The Godzilla trailer was awesome. And I'm super excited for that. Brian Cranston's amazing. Brian Cranston with long, longer hair, kinda, and. Uh, but just I, I just thought the, the trailer just looked awesome. No, the trailer is badass, and it's slowly becoming one of my most anticipated of the Definitely. of the summer. It's in my top three of the summer. What are your top three? Of the summer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of the summer. X, X Men, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh wait, Guardians of the Galaxy, X Men, and fuck, X Men, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Godzilla. And Godzilla. I can't decide if I, if X Men or Guardians of the Galaxy is number one. Or I two. think mine's Guardians of the Galaxy before X Men. You think so? Yeah. I don't really have a top three of the summer. I haven't thought that through, but I just thought of it just now. Oh, okay. Right? But because then I, as I was saying it out loud, I realized that like there's other stuff. Yeah. But oh, oh, oh! I have to mention this, and it's not. Uh, they announced that there will be a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles trailer with Captain America. Oh, really? Which means so we're roughly a month so away. So we can actually see what it's going to look like. Yeah, we saw photos, kind of, but like it was. Yeah. Well, yeah. it comes out soon. It comes out in August. Yeah, which is really think, soon for them to like just now be releasing yeah, the trailer. Yeah, I think, well, that happened with Wolverine last year, I feel like. It came out in August, and then it was like not until like April or May we started seeing stuff finally. Yeah. It, was, it was a weird marketing thing, but I also think it comes out to, either, I think it's like one week is Guardians of the Galaxy, the next week is Ninja, Ninja Turtles, and then the next week is like Expendables 3. It's going to be a very convoluted man month. Yeah, so. man month. That sounds good. <laughs> it's, that sounds very... Okay, I apologize, but, but uh, something's going to get lost in the shuffle. Speaking of the Turtles, I was reading today that the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles cartoon yeah. is going to do a crossover with the old one that we grew up with. What? Yeah, they're going to they're going to like go back and like to an alternate reality. Oh, I did hear something they're like going that. To, yeah, they're going to go to like an alternate universe where it's the, the old school Ninja Turtles. That's they're going to meet their old selves with the original voice actors. That's really cool. Yeah, and the guy who created the Ninja Turtles, like did the old 80s comics, is yeah. going to be doing a voice. That's really cool. That's really awesome. That's so cool. That's the coolest I, that's, thing that's since cool. the Avengers. Man, in case you don't realize, it's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. It's really cool. Next, I love the Ninja Turtles. Next line of business, Doctor Strange. Is no longer going to be Johnny Depp. According, which I mean, you know how rumors work and Marvel's very secretive. But rumors are true. Rumors are true sometimes. Uh, they, you know, Johnny Depp was rumored. Kevin Feige. Yeah, Feige. 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 <laughs> However, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I'm Kevin. Thinking. Kevin, <laughs> uh, head of Marvel, or, or at least their film. Fuck, he's head of something in Marvel. He's a big dude in Marvel. See, he, he does Marvel work. I trust me. Yeah, we promise. Anyways, he said he's debunked the Johnny Depp rumor. They also released a rumored list of four directors that are supposedly have been meeting or will meet, but he even debunked those, debunked those, which is probably good because they weren't really overwhelmingly cool. Yeah. Like, the only one that was neat was Jonathan Levine, who directed Warm, Warm Bodies, Bodies and 50-50 and The Wagness, who is a, he's a very good director. It'd be a weird choice for a Marvel movie, but Marvel has a talent for picking weird choices. Uh, they, they, yeah, they're pretty out, they go pretty out of the box uh, occasionally, so yeah. Um, 
I, yeah, I, uh, the other guy, one of the other guys was Mark Andrews, who directed Brave, and Pixar's had some good directors come out of there, Brad yeah. Bird, obviously. But, I don't know. Who would you want to see direct Doctor Strange? I would want to see... Del Toro. I want to, he could direct anything. I think Del Toro could make Doctor Strange's universe like really pretty, like the magic and stuff. The visuals and stuff, yeah, he yeah. that would be awesome. I don't know if he would do it, he's also got a lot on his plate because we need Pacific Rim 2 <laughs> uh, and Hellboy 3. But I agree, that would be pretty cool. Um, It'd be cool for Ron Howard to do a Marvel movie. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be weird, but Ron Howard doesn't really have a style. Not really, because yeah. cause even when I thought he did, I watched Rush, and I was like, well, this isn't anything like his other movies except dramatic, but like the style, yeah. I mean, it was... Um, yeah, so it's, anyway, yeah. yeah. I think I would... I mean, uh, I've mentioned this director before, but Joe Cornish could be cool. That would um, be sweet. Uh, he'd be like a, an easy choice, I guess. And I'm going to throw out this director, because I'm becoming obsessed with him because of True Detective, but Kerry Fukunaga. Yeah. Um, who also did, he did the Jane Eyre movie, which was actually good, don't judge me, and, <laughs> uh, and he's been doing True Detective, and True Detective is awesome, and, and he's doing the Stephen King's It remake, give him Doctor Strange, or just really anything. I'm not too, the It remake sounds weird. Yeah, well, I'm not really excited for the It remake, but I like this but director. It, I do too, because True Detective is awesome. True Detective, and he's directed every episode, and that's pretty cool, mm -hmm. and yeah, give him, give him a movie, Marvel. Or Vince Gilligan, you know, from Breaking Bad. Yeah, that'd be an out of the that'd box. Be, that'd be sweet. That'd be cool. Bring somebody it'd from be, TV. It'd be nice to help see him do something different. Yeah. Because everyone loves Breaking Bad. Matthew McConaughey should play a superhero. Oh, you're right. He should be an older Gambit. My mom, <laughs> my mom is gonna love me for saying that. An older Gambit. Matthew McConaughey <laughs> would be a good Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than Channing Tatum. Exactly. Exact. Fuck Channing Tatum. Fuck Channing Tatum. <sighs> He's probably a nice guy. <laughs> I know, he's probably like, why do these guys hate me so much? Because, you know, he watches this. I'm sure he does. It's... And then every episode we're just talking about how much we hate him. We should just tag him on all our YouTube things, and surely he'd pop up and be like, whoa, some, uh, like, oh, a YouTube video. I actually do, I think I do tag him on all of our YouTube Good. ones. <laughs> Good. So I hope he gets on there. He, I bet Matthew, or my, Matthew Gahane, I bet Shane Tatum gets on YouTube, types in his name just to see what comes up. Probably. And then watches our podcast. Yeah. And he probably hates us. And he's like, these guys hate me so much. If they ever make movies, I'm going to kick them in the balls. Yeah, don't don't beat us up, but um, just you know, stop doing movies. <laughs> um, okay. Other big news that's been really controversial in comic book movie world is they've casted Fantastic Four. They have, and it's we we knew about Michael B. Jordan being the human. Torch. Yeah, it's been around everybody, and we we're over it. And it really doesn't bother me. It doesn't anything. bother me either, but... I think he's a great actor, and he's probably going to pull it off and do really well. He, he will, but it, I just wish that they would have made Sue Storm black. Well, because now they're going to have to do, like, but oh, it's my... Like, oh, like, oh, this is my brother. Oh, he's your brother? Oh, he's adopted. It, I, it's just unnecessary dialogue that they're going to have to explain. Yeah. Yeah, they're, I mean, They yeah. could have used that th 30 seconds right there to do anything else. Exactly. Have, ex have more... Human that could, that could have been Ben Grimm punching someone's face that they have to take out now yeah. because they use 30 seconds to explain it. Exactly. Adoption. Yeah, exactly. Um, Kate Mara is Sue Storm, who I really like, and she's really pretty. She's pretty. She'll be a good Sue Storm. She'll I be think. a good Sue Storm, and uh, I wish she's kind of young. I would prefer to be Rossum. Yeah. But Kate well, Mara will be good. And I don't even really guess that Kate. it's her age that's as weird as Reed Richards because Reed Richards is going to be played by Miles Teller, who is a great actor. Which I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. But yeah, you haven't seen Spectacular Now, and and I've seen other stuff of him in it, and I've always enjoyed my him. Switching. But uh, it's hard because we're sitting on the opposite sides, and that's normal. So you're high, exactly you're high as it used to. Anyways, Miles Teller's a great actor. Yeah, I'm excited to see him play Reed Richards. I think he'll do a great job. Yeah, guy. he's just young. But they're and not going to be. Put, he's not going to have the gray in his hair. Yeah, because if they do, yeah. it'd just be weird. So no, so might as well just not do it. It's going to be a younger Fantastic Four. But what's good about that? Is if it ends up being as good as everyone's hoping it's going to be, yeah, you know, then they can keep using that. That's true. They can grow. They can. They'll be able to grow up their characters. That's true. The weird, smart. the weird choice that I haven't really decided if I've liked is that Jamie Bell is playing Ben Grimm. I don't like it. Jamie Bell is a fantastic actor, and I think he's still underrated. But he doesn't have a Ben Grimm look. No, and I mean, I mean, he's going to be a rock. He's going to be the thing. Yeah. So it's not so going to be motion capture. So his look doesn't matter, but. 
I just feel like it's wasting him. Like it's wasting a guy like Jamie Bell. He should have just been the human. Like he could have been a great human torch, you know. Like if they didn't decide to make him black. Yeah, and, um, but I, I'm not saying like it's not that anyone can be the thing. I mean that does take skill. No, Michael. I mean Michael Chiklis was okay. Yeah. You know, but I mean there's the voice and there's I don't know. But, and, yeah. I I just always Ben Grimm. I just always saw him as like. I don't know. It's it's just weird that he's so young. The ever-loving blue-eyed thing. Yeah, it's just. But I really like Jamie Bell, and so it's one. This is one of those things that it's gonna be worth. I mean, it's gonna be worth watching. It's Fantastic Four. We'll see how it turns out. And are they gonna do Doctor Doom? Good. Do you know? Or like, I think so like because some lesser villain like the Mole Man. No, I think Doctor Doom has been who is remembered because apparently a producer was like, "Oh, we've tossed around the idea of making Doctor Doom a woman." I thought you were gonna do a spit. A spit. That would have been really funny. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but, but that'd be silly. Like that, that's just silly. It's unnecessary. It's just ridiculous. Like just, just make. Just, why, why are you? Why, why are you just going to change so many things until everyone's pissed and they're not? Gonna yeah. The movie? Instead, you could just have one of the other female villains in the Fantastic Four universe, and yeah, you know, I don't know, or even just make a whole new character. I, I just would rather that. Just don't make Doctor Doom a woman. It's wit stupid. It's weird. So his casting is gonna get me excited or I'm not excited, but I think it's gonna be one of those I'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, that's not gonna win any Academy Awards. No, it's not. <laughs> but speaking of the Academy Awards, they're gonna be coming up Sunday. This Sunday, March second. We have some great categories like every year. Yeah, like every year. Yeah, you know, best the picture is there. The same. <laughs> but... Uh, it's a great lineup of, of things. Lots of great movies this year. I've got one more left to watch of the Best Picture. I have two left to watch. I have Captain Phillips to watch, and you have Captain Phillips and... Nebraska. But you need to watch Nebraska. Captain Phillips, like, I'm gonna watch it. But, but I don't I, think it's gonna win anything. I don't think it's really gonna win so that's much. that's why I'm saving it for last. Yeah, so, exactly. Because, um, I mean, every th all the categories are extremely difficult this year, and Captain Phillips yeah. just doesn't stand out as much as the rest. Yeah, the, I think the best... Is, yeah. No offense to Tom Hanks or anything. Right. Well, the best the best actor category was a was a tough one this year. A lot of competition. Best supporting actor, which we've yeah. discussed, how Daniel Brühl totally should have got a nomination. He should have, but it's going to go to Jared Leto. Jared Leto is going to the park. I just watched Dallas Buyers Club and and who damn, thunk, I was impressed. Who to thunk the lead singer of Thirty Seconds to Mars and the guy that got pummeled in Fight Club would actually be a good actor. Right. Yeah. Who to thunk? Yeah, because he but played, he's damn good. He played an awesome transgender. Person. AIDS with AIDS. With AIDS, yeah. Um, he had this whole like feminine voice going on, like wearing dresses yeah. the whole. He was movie. really skinny. Oh, they, well, they both were. They him both and, were. Him and McConaughey. And Grotesquely skinny. That was gross. Yeah. I think McConaughey's. My prediction for best actor is McConaughey, too. Is it? I really wanted to go to Christian Bell. I don't think Christian Bell's going to get it because, again, it's a tough category. Uh, as those of you who don't know, the nominees are Matthew McConaughey, Christian Bell, Leo DiCaprio, Bruce Stern, and. Uh, Chewy Tell Ijeofer. Yes. I, that's how I think that. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Chewy. Chewy. He... <laughs> he was amazing. He was amazing in 12 Years a Slave, and I feel like, it, I personally think it's going to be a tight race between him and McConaughey, but... I think, like, I think that, like, I really wanted to see Christian Bale get it. Oh, yeah. Because I thought he was amazing in American Hustle. It's still my favorite movie that I've seen this year. Mm -hmm. But... I... I think I want Bruce Dern to win. I haven't seen Nebraska yet, but I, I want him to win. Oh, he's great. He's great. He's great in Nebraska. Nebraska's a great movie. He's great in it. Um, but it'd I don't be, think it'd be nice to see it to go to some seasoned actor. Yeah, but they do that. I feel like every year they've got like, oh, we're going to nominate this seasoned actor. We're going to nominate this. And they this. don't win it. Yeah. And then they don't win it. Except for Alan Alda won it for The Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah. Because they all expected Eddie Murphy to win. And he didn't. But. And Best Picture, I don't. Best Picture was a tough one. It, it is. I still don't know which one I want to win it. I think, I, as far as want to win, I want maybe her to win. I would want. I would love to see her win. It's not even necessarily my favorite of the bunch because I think because that's really tough. Well, my favorite but, is still American Hustle, but I know yeah, you not, said that. But I don't. I don't want it to win. I would love to see Wolf of Wall Street win. I think that might be my favorite, but after seeing 12 Years a Slave, I was blown away by 12 Years a Slave. I think Wolf of Wall Street was my least favorite this year. That's weird. Because I, I, I just think it was too long. But you haven't seen Captain Phillips in Nebraska. I haven't. I really enjoyed Wolf of Wall Street. Um, the acting was great. I don't necessarily... The acting was it. great. Yeah. I just thought it was like, uh, like 30 to 45 minutes too it's long. It's really long, but... 
I, I think 12 Years a Slave is going to get it. I think on all, a lot of my other prediction things, I put American Hustle because I think American Hustle is the kind of movie that could win. Yeah. Because it's well liked and well done. And But I actually think that it's going to be 12 Years a Slave. I think if it's not that, it's going to end up being like Gravity, but I don't think that. Yeah. But I think 12 and Years a Slave. Gravity was too. awesome. Gravity was cool. Uh, I don't think she's going to win Best Actress. I used to think that she was going to walk away with it because there was all the buzz. But she made Sandra Bullock. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I have this weird inkling that Amy Adams is going to sneak away. I think Amy Adams is going to get it. She's been nominated a bunch. She has. Like, she's kind of a younger Meryl Streep, even though Jennifer Lawrence is starting to become that now, too. But I think, I think Amy Adams is going to sneak away with it. You think? I think it'll be a tough race between her and Sandra Bullock. That's who, who I think. Who's nominated in that one? Those it's... are the two that I remember. Um, Kate Blanchett is for Blue Kate Jasmine, Blanchett, yeah, Kate which Blanchett was really good. Was really good, and uh, I think she won. Like, she won the Golden Globe for best. Yeah, she did. Yeah, something. Yeah, but yeah, I, those are the three that I remember. Judy right? Dench is Judy is Dench for Philomena, and so it's the fifth one that I don't remember. Yeah, I'd have to sit here and think, and I don't want to waste your time looking <laughs> at this thinking. But, It'd be cool to see Judy Dench win as well. Yeah, Philomena. She was great. amazing in Philomena. Philomena was great. Um, very a little, almost underrated in a way. I just feel like I, I believe it was. I think it's a le lesser it appreciated of the bunch. I hope it gets screenplay at least. I think it should get screenplay for Steve Coogan and the guy he wrote it with because it was really yeah. best ad adapted screenplay. Um, best original screenplay. I think Spike Jones is going to get. I do too. He deserves it. It was a great movie. Very well done. I wish Walking Phoenix could have been nominated, but again, that was a tough. I wish Scarlett Johansson could have been nominated. It would have been interesting if they would have nominated her, but it would have been controversial like it is and stuff. But yeah. her, I think, yeah. Her? Her. <laughs> yeah. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And a computer. Um, the supporting actress role, I think, is going to be Jennifer Lawrence. It I feel like be. it's just, it's just we just know it's going to be Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> it has to be. Yeah. Um, if it's not, I'm going to be surprised. I'm sure even Meryl Streep knows that Jennifer Lawrence is going to win it. Because Jennifer Lawrence is everyone's favorite. She's everyone's favorite, and, you know. She's my future wife. She's his future wife. Um, another tough, another category kind of thing will be tough to be best director. I think it's going to be a bit tough one. Yeah. That one has a bunch of people. I bet it goes, <laughs> I bet it goes to Alfonso. The guy who did Gravity. Yeah. Yeah, that's who I think it'll go to. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah. Who who the who did not see there was him uh, David there, o. Russell David O. Russell for um, yeah and then Fudge why am I forgetting all these did Spike Jones get one no oh Spike Jones for her no I don't think he did dang but anyway Scorsese but I, it's totally gonna be Alfonso yeah Hugh Cuaron uh, yeah. it is one of the I don't know he's just gonna walk with it's just one of those movies like Gravity was very well done on a technical level I think especially and I think he kind of deserved it. Yeah. There, there was a lot of movies this year that I think I had missed out on, like Rush. Yeah, and Rush was very Prisoners. underappreciated. Prisoners was damn good. It was underappreciated. That one got, it got, that one got something. Cinematography, Inside, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Inside but, Lou and Davis. Um, yeah, which we, I, I still haven't seen that. I haven't either, but and I, it'll probably get music. Yeah, or... If not her. It's not, yeah, that's who I think. I think I put her for original song. Yeah. And, um, yeah, those are all the major categories, unless we missed one that I forgot. It's a crazy year. It is. Matthew McConaughey could win an Oscar. The guy from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days could win an Oscar. <laughs> Which is crazy. And Him, Jared Leto. And the lead Steve singer of 36 to Mars. And Steve freaking Coogan, which isn't necessarily the weirdest of the bunch, but it's still weird. It is weird. At the same time. The tiny centurion from From Black Black Museum. Museum, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Ellen DeGeneres is hosting this year, right? Yes. I, I'm kind of excited about that. She'll do a good job. She'll do fine. She's a, she's a good PC one after last year's Seth MacFarlane, <laughs> who I actually thought was awesome. I thought awesome, it was great. But I was annoyed because everybody was like, oh, he was so inappropriate. And it's like, well, you picked Seth MacFarlane, who does Family Guy, to host mm -hmm. the Academy Awards. What else do you expect? I bet Jimmy Fallon hosts next year. Oh, man. That wouldn't surprise me. He's so, starting to do a lot. Yeah, he's trying to get popular. I don't know why. Oh, that's a... Man, you just gave him an idea. <laughs> I did. You just put, gave me the idea, because that's kind of awesome. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, I, I bet he would do a good job. Or if Seth Meyers' show takes off, maybe the last game we do it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, but... Me neither. I saw, like, a clip, but he wasn't even the funny part I saw in the clip. Yeah. He was any polar. But he's, but, st he's still on a start, you know? It's his first time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone's first time's rough. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you made a sex joke. <laughs> but oh man. I think that's about all we have. That's for about you all today. we have. We had a, we gave you our rundown of Oscar predictions and um, tell us yours. Tell us yours. Comment on our Facebook or YouTube page below the video. And you have until Sunday, so you have until Sunday. And <laughs> or <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> But tell us, so, your, tell us your thoughts. Yeah, see if you agree, disagree, and yeah. watch the show, see if we're right. We, we probably, I bet we will be. Probably, we're psychic. We're pretty psychic. I don't think we'll be right on some of them, actually. I'm going to be all honest. We're going to get them all wrong. That would be <laughs> really depressing. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> for Jared Leto. Uh, thanks for watching. Yep. Always. R.I.P. Harold Ramis. Yeah. <laughs>